Now, she don't look like she'd be into fantasy, but then the ones you gotta watch out for, right? Right here. What's up, guys? It's Nikki with Our Homeschool Life. I have a book haul for you, science, economics, and a little bit of something else. And let's jump right on into it, but first, I'm Nikki with Our Homeschool Life, where I bring you real, honest, and practical homeschooling advice, information, motivation, all that good stuff. Today, we're having a book haul. Now, let me just jump right into it because I'm hot. I got the fan on, so excuse the noise. It's hot. I'm from Houston. I should be used to the heat, but I got a little bougie. Look, represent my 713. That's my Houston, but I can't represent the heat. Okay, so let me show you the really cool stuff. This is for your little people or not so little people. I have, since my kids were studying, well, are studying chemistry, I was recommended these books, The Happy Adam, by my girlfriend, uh, Naima, who you saw on my live, my Friday Night Live, about two weeks ago. Y'all know I like subjects, I like to study subjects where there's a story involved. And a, <laughs> this is obvious, story. So I was sold with story. So... <laughs> We went and got this, and y'all, look. This is fun. No matter the age of your child. Just look. You know what? Y'all seen those chemistry books? Y'all seen how crazy they look? Look. Electron tells Guy. What does he tell him? Electron tells Guy about the negative, whatever, whatever else it says. You know it's just it's fun the language if your kids can get past all the scary vocabulary and definitions then they can they can just start to absorb the information without feeling some kind of way look look at sodium trying to tell somebody about something you see what i'm saying it's a fun book so it's a nice little story it's about basic chemistry and it weaves, okay, let me let me read the back really quickly. The Happy Adam story takes the principles of basic chemistry and weaves them into a fantasy tale. Fantasy, y'all, with chemistry. Come on, that's good. Weaves them into a fantasy tale that makes chemistry easy to understand. And remember, the story was written for and loved by, loved by, chemistry? Yes. Middle school students. So, but low key, you can scaffold this and make it work for your younger kids, okay? Don't don't be thrown off with that. You know how we do. We make the curriculum work for us. And then it goes on and talks about all kinds of things like periodic table land, uh, the magical things, all that kind of stuff. And look, now she don't look like she'd be into fantasy, but then the ones you gotta watch out for, right? Right here. So it's a book one and book two, okay? That I thought that was a really nice addition. And then we have Explore Atoms and Molecules with 25 great projects. And these are fun, guys. You know how I like color. These are fun. So I'm like, you know what? You can't reiterate concepts enough. It's almost like in math. You know how in math you want to do, you want some spiral or you just want something where you just kind of go back over concepts so you don't forget them right you don't want to you know you want to keep doing multiplication so you don't forget your multiplication facts and things like that so chemistry because once you start bringing in the math to chemistry you better make sure you have that solid foundation so if you can get past that by having lots of different kinds of exposure to you know chemistry you're good okay so I thought this was pretty cool um, ages 7 to 10 uh, guided reading level is W which I think that's fifth grade is W is level W I don't really care but I I have um, I have a tab that lists it all the different grading all the different reading levels it shows the equivalency but anyway um, look if book list which is a very venerable uh, organization if book list gives it a spotlight, you know it's a good book, okay? And look, the school library connection. So take a look at that. That's a pretty good one. And then these are baby books. And they're a little babyish for my kids. But you know what? 
sometimes my kids like i leave magazines all over the all over the house definitely in the bathroom and on the kitchen counter because when my kids are eating breakfast they don't want anything heavy they'll pick up a picture book and they'll just browse through it while they're eating but sometimes i keep you know i keep exposing because you never know what that one thing is that clicks with your child and then they remember it for the rest of their lives right so it could just be a little symbol how something is said any kind of association any kind of association let me show you the electrons okay sometimes they just might remember but this is definitely for your littles but i just have my kids just look through it you know i'll probably donate this to somebody but if you got little ones or maybe you have kids who you know maybe learning challenge and they just need to learn these concepts in a story approach then that's that's perfect that's perfect right so you know my kids they they read through all three you know during a bowl of cereal while they were eating a bowl of cereal but you know sometimes word association pete the proton you know so anyway i thought that was cute i'll just keep it probably for my grandbabies if i have some but you know what you need to have more um picture books that are science-based I, I think so why not you know all right so that's the science and then this one actually i had this for about two months um i misplaced them but the atlas obscura um the explorer's guide for the world's most adventurous kid so if you want to if your child is very imaginative or if you're trying to spark imagination in them child this is the book for you you just set this down put a bowl of snacks right next to them and then moon walk away this is a fun book and it's beautiful it's beautiful so it says join atlas obscura on a thrilling beautifully illustrated expedition to 100 of the most astonishing places in the world um, hopscotch from country to country in a chain and a chain of connecting attractions so you'll get like the country and then whatever that attraction is in that country why do they got France in here what France got the Matterhorn no I'm kidding uh, let's see this is one of my favorites here Azerbaijan now, I like Azure Brajan because when I was studying history uh, back in the 90s, um, I started learning about the battle for water, um, well, for oil. And Azure Brajan was one of the key players in the mix. So anyway, um, so that is a fun book. Now, there is a companion to that. It's a page a day calendar. Am I holding that right? It's a page a day calendar. Oh, this is cool you know this could be used hold on then i'll say anything this could be used for writing prompts right if you do a picture of the day no we, we oh you know we got this i got this about a month ago i be, i get so many books literally we get books every week and, and we just get right to them and i forget to write it down so i know what to pull so i can do a book haul but um but look so now i would i'm not gonna tear it now for me i'm not gonna tear it out as a calendar i'm just gonna keep it like this as a book as a matter of fact i'm going to keep it in the car y'all know i'm a prepper this is something that i'll keep in the car on the side door so they can always pull this out and just look at it i'm not going to use it as a calendar because it's you know it's really nice it's it's a it's a reference you know it's a nice little reference it looks like you have the longitude, latitude, um, coordinates. Better watch out how I open this because the pages might fall apart. Um, and then, oh, look, 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 look. All right. So you can, I didn't read the back, but um, on the reverse page is a graph to take notes. So maybe if you just want to write some additional information about this, you can do it here. Well, you would do it on the back of that page. So you could use this for writing prompts, right? 
write the little pr writing prompt what do you think about this picture what's going on here or you know would you like to go here or um what do you think what, what do you think what do you think about the people that built this or lived here or something like that you can jot that on the opposite page and then hand it to them and then let them work it out that is atlas obscura along with this and i think my girlfriend told me there is an online version to that don't quote me on it but i think these are pretty cool these are pretty cool uh next we're moving next we're moving on to economics now these are two books that will be uh in our curriculum for my my rising ninth grader this is what he'll be using for economics it's not going to be a half semester you know half credit we're going to do a whole year because economics is very important is is really how the world runs especially when you start talking about the economics of behavior you know just the the, the, the math of economics economics really rules a lot more than what people think so we're actually reading three books and i don't have the other one here i think it's downstairs um the <laughs> the tyranny <laughs> yeah i know how i am <laughs> the tyranny of the federal reserve now currently i am listening to the audiobook of the creature from jekyll island let me just grab that book right now all right i can't find the creature from jekyll island i am listening to the audiobook and i'll be doing the audiobooks for all of them now the, the creature from jekyll island talks about the history the birth of the federal reserve system but it's pretty heavy it's almost like a history book it's very very well written so you cover a lot of history because i think the um the federal the federal reserve system was started in like 19 the 1910s or something like that and it talks about to the like i think the 90s or something like that so you're covering a lot of history you're getting you're getting a lot of history with major players so that book is i i think it's going to take us about a year to get through this one is a little bit faster now what i like about this book it talks about you see how you have this uh cthulhu <laughs> on the cover and how all the t or octopus um and then you have all the tentacles and it shows you how the devil is the reserve the federal reserve system but you look at the the prey or or the participants you have the white house the u.s capitol or congress you have the u.s treasury and then down here you have the private syndicate so i guess just your corporations and then you have the new york stock exchange wall street and then you have banks and factories and then the farm and then you see all the money coming out okay the federal reserve just spitting everything out it's a system and it shows you how all of this all of these key players the banks the factories the farms the congress the treasury department the white house uh the federal reserve system and uh the private sector how they all dance together in this this should be in every high schoolers book list for economics for history okay so i i, I can't wait to get into this because once again i was watching a video on this so i gotta stop watching videos i just every time i watch a video i end up buying two books so it is what it is and this one the price of tomorrow now these are books these are like bestseller books so i would def definitely recommend for your high schooler for economics mix this in because it it will explain a lot um in a way that's really understandable and applicable to your life but let me just show you the table of contents okay we're gonna we're going to start with this one for the overall big picture y'all see that so you have a high schooler or a very precocious middle schooler or if you're just you are into this i would check it out i would definitely check it out okay it talks about the ponzi economy what the experts get wrong uh being on the eve of destruction self-driving cars doubling up 3d printing the laws of energy the beginning of AI, myths we live by. So, oh, sorry, in this one, my page right here. 
So definitely take a look at this one. This is pro this is my favorite out of all the books that I'm showing you. Now, who will be the masters? The AI race, uh, the body that's digitized, and then um, us versus them. And then there's a call to action. Who's controlling the money? Simple solutions, two ways for it. So you're, you're, you're not just stuck with hearing all this doom and gloom. You, you get some practical solutions that you can um, try to implement. You can't see that. I'm sorry about the glare. So anyway, so Jeff Booth's The Price of Tomorrow. That is my final book haul. So really, these two books and The Creature from Jekyll Island, I'll put it up here, a little picture of it right here. So that's what the book looks like, okay? These are, these are really for adults, but man, if anything, I would start with this one for your high school or for economics. Even if they're taking the class somewhere else or you're teaching something else, get this in their hands, okay? This really gives the big picture, okay? Because um, I, was, I was watching a video, <laughs> a talk on this. So anyway, so that's it. So that's my mini book haul. I have about, I think, 12 books that I, I've ordered that have come in and they're just all over the house. I'll cobble them together and I'll do another haul. But listen... I have a new download. It is your free curriculum budget worksheet, okay? Uh, I have it in color. I have it in black and white. This is tis the season to be starting to think about the next school year. And you want to be able to write down all of the curriculum um, resources or materials that you're interested in, including the books that you're going to buy, <clears throat> okay? This is what you will be writing on your curriculum budget worksheet. The title, what it is, the price, all that good stuff. So, and it's also a good way to kind of keep inventory of what you have. So that is free. It is down below in the description box for you. Now, I know I love to give y'all free stuff. So anyway, that's me. That's it. That's Nikki. That's it. I'm out of here. I love y'all. I'll see you another day with another video. Mwah.